Guilty. That word was read aloud more than 30 times this afternoon as the jury returned its verdict in the murder trial of Johar Tsarnaev. The Boston Marathon bomber convicted of murdering four people and wounding more than 200 others near the finish line of the race in 2013. Tsarnaev stood in the courtroom with a blank stare for the entire 25 minutes it took to read the verdicts on all 30 counts. His attorneys admitted from the start he helped to build and place the two bombs, but argued he was under the control of his brother. 17 of the charges could be punishable by death, but many are just relieved there is finally a verdict. Tonight, Fox 28 News reporter Matt Hamill talked with runners from the corridor who ran the Boston Marathon that day. Matt? Scott and Tiffany, think about this. The next Boston Marathon, just 12 days from now. That means that it has taken nearly two years for this verdict, one that is still very emotional for anybody involved. It was actually louder than you would expect. <laughs> You can feel it in the ground. Um, and shaking? Yes, you can feel shaking in the ground. And it kind of reverberated off the buildings as well. The sights and sounds Iowa City runner Kyle Seifer says he'll never forget. He just crossed the finish line and picked up his medal 15 minutes before. He thought the noise came from a construction site. And then with the second blast, reality mixed with confusion. I remember people telling us that there were, there were gunmen in multiple locations. And so we didn't really know which direction to turn at first. As news of a guilty verdict hits home, more than a dozen corridor marathoners have similar frightening stories to tell. My boyfriend said that that's where he had been standing watching the race. A horrifying thought for University of Iowa cross-country star Danielle Burnt, who crossed the Boston finish line just minutes before. As corridor runners remembered the victims that day, Danielle says it really helps to hear the verdict. I felt pretty relieved that it's getting closer to being over, and I'm, I'm glad he was found guilty. We're confident that caught the right guy. And Kyle says remembering how Boston stayed strong has him planning to run again next year. I'm looking forward to it. I don't think this has really changed anything about the Boston Marathon. It's, uh, people still talk about it like it's, it's the greatest race. After hearing from some of the people at the marathon that day, it also gives us a better idea of the challenge for the jury in this case. Even runners and some of those injured don't agree on whether Sarnayev should be put to death or in prison for life. Matt Hamill, Fox 